Today, I'm calling you out if you have the guts. So today we're gonna try something just a little different. Um, we were gonna go show you the animals. We still might, it's just raining outside, it's nasty. So I think today, Jared might show you uh, some cooking stuff. Today I'm gonna be cooking Jared's famous beans in our crocker pot. <laughs> I mean crock pot. So for today's recipe, we are gonna be cooking with smoky applewood and brown sugar bourbon uh, dry rubs. We have our pinto beans, some Italian seasoning, some chili powder, garlic powder, a little bit of garlic squeeze, teriyaki sauce, some baby Ray's hickory brown sugar, barbecue sauce, because that's the best. A couple of uh, limes, an onion, cilantro, some uh, beef that I cut up, and then some bacon that I also cut up. So what else did you learn that you can use bacon for? Well, if you go to our buddy Spicy's channel at Backwoods Ray's, he used bacon to catch crawfish out of a creek on the side of the road. If you haven't checked him out, go to his page, check him out. So we're gonna go out there, and uh, not today, it's nasty weather, but we're gonna try to catch us some crawfish and maybe do a crawfish boil from our yard. Who knows? From yard to plate. Before we do get started, I wanna do a little disclaimer. Our house is not finished. We're turning a shed into a house, a 16 by 50, 800 square foot shed into a house. So don't mind that, but if you are interested, we do have a whole playlist on that you can check out. But I think let's get back to uh, some cooking. So here in the crocker pot, I got the water nice and ready. It's time to add the beans. How easy was that? Step one, complete. Step two is adding all the meat into the crock pot. So follow me over. Next goes my favorite part, the bacon. So as you saw, I gently put the bacon in the crock pot. In doing so, it helps tenderize the beans a lot quicker. So next is the cilantro. Here in Texas, we have an abundance of cilantro. Most people say that I'll dabble do ya, but here in Texas, a fistful will keep your stomach full. Come on over. Next step is the onions. It always gets me in the feels. They say onions have layers. And so do I. Next step, the anaconda squeeze. So next comes all the dry rub. I was gonna mix it all in this plastic cup, but I'm not trying to leach any plastics today. I bet old Dutch leaches plastic. So I'm gonna mix it in this bowl. for the liquids. So last step is stir in the pot. This ain't my first rodeo. <laughs> now that the beans are in the crock pot, it's time to make Jared's fire hot salsa. Let's get it on. Let's open it up and let's do a taste test. It's got a little bit of a kick, but I think it's time to kick it up a notch. 
This video is sponsored by Wayne from South Carolina. He provided us with the ghost peppers. Now we tried this last night in our live feed. It was very spicy. So even that's a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and just kick it up a notch and add a little bit of this in there. I personally don't think that was a smart idea to put that much in there. So we're gonna let Jared do the taste test once he uh, blends this up. Let's, let's do another uh, taste test here, Jared. Do a big old spoonful. You triple dog dare me? I Texas triple dog dare you. I can smell it now. I know, take a big old. All of it. Is it nice and warm? It's not spicy yet. I don't mm. know if it's gonna kick in a little bit or maybe I should just add more. Well, does it taste good? It tastes good, yeah. Believe it. I think after that, it should be definitely hot enough. That's definitely got a kick to it now. So I think overall it came out pretty well. Time to put this in a jar. All right guys, so it's been raining all day. I was able to get the salsa made. The beans are in the crock pot. Stay tuned tomorrow. Jason and Jaylene are gonna do a test on this to see how hot it is. And then we will show you guys what animals we picked up. Today, I'm calling you out if you have the guts to post a video of you guys eating something spicy on our Crocker Family Homestead page on Facebook. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching, subscribing, hit the notification button, all that cool jazz. We have all the info down in the description for anything you need to know about us. Um, we're very thankful for all the support you guys give us and all the new subscribers we got. Um, you guys are absolutely awesome. We couldn't do this without you guys. And for that alone, we wanna thank you personally and just know that we're gonna try to comment to, back to everybody. Um, this last couple of days have been a little crazy. We didn't expect that, we didn't want that, but we're back to normal, back to vlogs, back to showing you guys that you could do anything you wanna do, and if you want something bad enough, you could do it and don't let anyone else tell you you can't. So we hope you guys have a great day. And comment down below with your recipes for your salsa. Yes, and don't forget, we have a family group it's the crocker homestead family it's a group on facebook go post your video of you eating something hot down in the comments we'll start a thread once this video is uploaded and we want to watch you cry since you made us cry on our live chat thanks guys as always see you tomorrow what am i saying you have the guts to post you guys eating something hot on our crocker family homestead page on facebook because I don't think it was very fair for you guys to just watch Jason and I kill ourselves last night on the live feed eating the Ghost Reaper pepper. Yeah, Wayne, calling us out, making us do that. I don't appreciate it. Don't show all this <laughs> It's got to be funny. Um, How easy was that? How easy was that? Step one, complete. I don't like to just throw it in there. This is the good stuff, so you gotta put it in there gently. Just come up with it. I don't know. You'll come up with it. I don't know. <laughs> so you may not know this, but if you gently put the bacon in, it will provide more for your family over a long period of time. <laughs> Do it again. You have to say it fast. So as you saw, I gently put the bacon in the crock pot. In doing so, it helps tenderize the beans a lot quicker. What you're doing? Hold on. All right. All right, guys. So now I'm gonna let those beans sit for the next 10 hours and high, and then we will be eating good. Do it again. That's stupid. What do you want me to say? Something better than that. All right guys, I'm gonna let this sit for the next 10 hours, but while that's cooking, I'm gonna show you a little bit of Dreadnecks Fire Salsa. 
Let's do this. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. This video is brought to you by Wayne from South Carolina. Or is North Carolina? South. Oh. Hold it up. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm putting tears on my face. <laughs> He's showing his layers.